Winners, Buckhaker's Champions in Life. Vincent Rose here, H2G Fitness, coming to you from down the wheel of my car. And forgive me, no little Sam is in the car with me today. I didn't mean to let y'all down, but uh, it's just me. And <laughs> hope everyone had an amazing weekend. I, uh, I had a good one for sure. I was out of town visiting some friends in San Antonio, Texas, which was really neat. And uh, I very much enjoyed myself and the time away from all of the hustle and bustle of this entrepreneurial lifestyle, right? It's, it's fun to work hard, but you gotta play hard a little bit from time to time too. So that's what I did. All that being said, I wanted to record a real quick message for you guys. And it is a pet peeve of mine that comes up often whenever I'm working with a new client and I cast uh, vision for where they're gonna be at for you know a week from now a month from now two months from now 90 days from now kind of a deal and uh, you'll get this response of I'll try or I hope and it makes my skin crawl every single time I hear it right because when you say I'll try that means you have zero confidence and what you're about to do is going to produce results you have no faith behind the word try, right? Or when somebody says, I hope, right? That means automatically, you don't believe it's gonna happen. Well, I hope so, right? There's no confidence in that. There's no faith back in that. And whenever you don't have confidence or faith in the things that you're saying, guess what? They're not gonna come true. They're just not. Your brain, right? Your subconscious, here's the most amazing thing about it. It believes every word that you say. That's a really good thing if you know how to purposely talk to yourself and talk to your subconscious and program it for success. That's an amazing piece of information to learn and know that you can apply. It can't take a joke. Your subconscious believes every single word that you tell it and if you are telling it faith-filled words, confident-filled words, forward-moving words, accomplishing goals, accomplishing words, Guess what? Your subconscious will go to work for you automatically to figure out how to do the things that you're saying that you believe it's going to do or that you you are going to do. However, comma, if uh, you were feeding it non-faith-filled words and uncertainty and fear and doubt, your subconscious believes all that crap too. And what ends up happening is whenever you speak something of lack of faith and something that you're going to try, guess what your subconscious is not going to do for you? It's not going to go to work for you to figure out how to do the thing that it is that you want to do. So the message to you is this. I'm going to encourage you and just flat out tell you, remove the words try and hope from your vocabulary. Never speak those two sissy filled, non-faith filled words ever again. Never let them utter your mouth. Even if you're not sure if you can do the thing that you're about to do, don't say, I'll try it. Say, darn it, I'll do it, right? Even if you're not sure the end result is going to be the desired end result, don't you dare say, well, I hope so. So you want to know what? It's going to turn out the way that I want it to come hell or high water because that's just the way that it is. I don't care if plan A doesn't work. There's 25 other letters in the alphabet and gosh darn it, we'll figure it out, right? And come hell or high water, make it so. You can't stop someone who will not be stopped. And here's a tip. When you have a goal, a plan, a dream, a desire, and a game plan to achieve it, your first plan normally isn't going to work right? It's normally going to go south. It's normally not going to produce the desired result. And it's going to cause a scenario where you have to go to work thinking of a other way, a different way to accomplish that goal. And then that one might not work. And then you got to figure out another one. And then that one might not work. And then you got to figure out another one. And if here's the deal, if you will just keep pushing through the barriers and decide in your mind that you're not gonna try and decide in your mind that you're not gonna hope that this is gonna turn out well, but you decide in your mind that no matter what the hell is thrown my way, 
I will overcome it. It shall be done. This is a done deal, period. That's it. End of report. I've already won. I am just now walking out my victory, and I freaking pity anything or everything or all things that would try to get in my way. When you take that mentality and that approach to your efforts, you've already won. You're just walking out your victory. So, that being said, get rid of try and hope and replace them with will and do is my recommendation to you because if you start off speaking victorious words of the end result and you call the thing that you want as if it already were you'll do it but if you speak some I'll try this world is already going to wipe its dirty hands all over you and you've already failed for real change your words you will change your life one of the biggest differences between successful people and unsuccessful people is just simply the way that they speak it's just simply you change your words you'll change your life your subconscious believes every word you tell it so never tell it anything other than the desired result that you want that's my recommendation to you hopefully this video is helping with that over and out, Vincent Rose, H2G Fitness, the future is bright. When something good is happening, you guys take care. Be blessed over and out. Peace.